Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to look at what's new in SketchUp version 2021.1. So there's actually quite a few things that are new in the most recent release. Um, this is the first point release for 2021 thus the name 2021.1. Uh, we'll link to the full list of what's new in the blog post in the description. So check that out if you want to go beyond this. But I thought it would be fun to spotlight some of the key features as I see them uh, that are going to affect everybody who uses SketchUp. So let's hop in and take a look at those right now. Okay, so when you enter a command, when you go to draw something, so I'm going to draw a rectangle for example, there are different ways to use this tool. Um, there's always a straightforward way. So like with rectangle, if I just click and click, it's gonna draw a rectangle on the ground. Go ahead and undo that. But there's different ways to modify the tool and those are with modifier keys and they're listed down at the bottom. Now previously, sometimes these would be a little cryptic or maybe not all there, um, but 2021.1 does a better job of being consistent about that right from the get-go. Um, so I can come in here and uh, I know that if I tap the option key, it's option on Mac, it'll be control on Windows, I'm going to draw from the middle because it tells me the center toggle is right there. Uh, another thing that's kind of cool is all these tools, uh, any of the drawing tools, I can actually set my reference or, or lock and a reference, a, a direction that I want to draw before I start drawing. So before I would have to click my first, uh, like start drawing a line and then hit the arrow keys to lock in a reference. Um, with 2021, it's consistent across the different tools where you can do that beforehand. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a rectangle here and if I wanted to bisect or draw a line off that, coming off that corner, um, I would have to click the point first and then afterwards, now I can hit the right arrow key to lock to red. So the cool thing is, right now before I do anything, I can tap that arrow key and now when I draw it's going to be drawing there first. So inferencing can happen before you start drawing and consistently across the tools it works that way. Another thing is something we call sticky modifier keys. So I'm going to go ahead and just push pull this up so I get a block and if I click here and start pushing pulling again it's just going to grab that top surface and pull it up. If I look at my modifier keys, I can hit option to toggle a new surface. So if I hit the option key, first thing I do, I do get the little plus arrow next to my cursor. And when I click and start moving up, I'm now creating a new surface. That's the way it used to work, which was great. But if I place this now, look what happens. I'm still in that, that little plus is still there. So I can come and add a new face here, new face here, new face here. It's nice because I stay in that mode of creating new geometry until I tell SketchUp I don't want to do any more by toggling it off. This is what we're consistently trying to do. We're creating this thing called sticky modifiers, which is a couple things. One is that it's going to keep doing that modification until you tell it to stop rather than you having to potentially go in and tell it over and over again you want to do it. The other thing is I don't have to hold down keys as often. I can tap it once and I will stay in that modification mode. Let's look at some other ways that can affect my workflow. So if I come into scale and I click this face right here, one of my favorite things to do with scale is scale about the middle. So on Mac, that's option, control on Windows. If I tap it once, it stays there. So I'm not holding down the button now, I can just tap it one time and I'll be scaling about the middle of this face no matter what. So I don't have to worry about holding it down. Uh, this is great because it frees up my left hand. I don't have to hold my finger on option the whole time I'm doing this. I can tap it once and now I can go about, you know, whatever I need to do, type the dimensions in or, or uh, you know, move my hand over to a 3D mouse, something like that. That's all simple because I can toggle that once. Hitting option a second time is going to turn it off. Same with, so if I, if I grab this command, I start pulling this way, or this handle, start pulling this way. This is the standard scale, but if I want to, if I want to do something where I want to stay the same size but pull from one handle, I can hit shift to toggle the uniform scale. Again, now I just tap it once and I'm in uniform scale until I hit shift again. So 
very nice, especially for new users who, who get a little confused about, wait, I hold down this one, but I didn't hold this one. It wasn't always consistent. This is a big step towards the consistency throughout SketchUp because those commands do all work the same. Another one that's real nice, I just got, I like this one a lot. Eraser. So with Eraser, you have a whole bunch of options. So I can soften, smooth. Um, I can shift toggle to hide. Nice stuff, but sometimes it was kind of hard to tell what you were in. So now if I hit option or on Windows, it would be control. I'm soft and smooth and I can see, look at my cursor. I have a little smoothed over face there. This means when I come over here and drag over here, it softens and smooths. It also, I don't have to hold down any modifier keys. I just stay in this command until I tell it I want to leave the command. Same thing. So if I hit, hit option, toggle that off, I can hit shift. Shift has a slightly different, see it's a darker gray look. Um, but same thing, that's hide, so it's going to hide the faces when I click on them now instead of soften and smooth them. And it stays in that command until I release it by, by either changing the command or tapping the modifier t key a second time. So really nice, like I said, the big thing here is that it is consistent. It's going to keep doing the same thing over and over every time you do that. This is also great for things like move because I don't know, this is something I do a lot. So I'm gonna grab some geometry, I'm gonna to go to move, and I'm gonna hit my modifier key option because I wanna make a copy. I'll copy one right here. Now, I wanna copy it again. Well look, I still have the plus next to my move uh, cursor, so I can just click, click. I can just keep doing this. I don't have to worry about going and hitting, oh, I wanna copy again, I wanna copy again, I wanna copy again. So if I wanna drop things like uh, entourage, I wanna put trees into my backyard, something like that, and I wanna just keep using the same one, this is nice because it's just going to assume I want to keep copying until I tell it otherwise, which is great. So another big one, this, this, this is one of those, uh, if you've run into it before, you know you want it. So if I draw a rectangle on the ground, I'm just going to draw this and just leave this here for a second. See what, see what face is facing up? That's right. The Outside face, the front face is facing up. So previous versions of SketchUp had that front face facing down, and there was all kinds of reasons we gave for why that would be. Um, idea being maybe you're drawing a cube from scratch, so you want the, the main face to face down. The assumption really is was maybe not that perfect. So the assumption now is that whenever you draw a face, you want that face facing you. So this is facing up. So this makes this takes away one of the issues a lot of people ran into because if I'm drawing a floor plan, I'll probably start with a face on the ground. If I'm going to draw my walls, it's going to do something like that, which I'll push pull up. So that worked okay. The issue came with this face being down in the center because as soon as I drew additional walls on the inside, so if I came in here and maybe I got an interior wall like this, as soon as I pull that up, there is a good chance it would be facing the wrong way. So this, just this simple change of having it face upward, my, my outside face facing upward means a lot less having to go through in reverse geometry, fixed geometry. Simple, simple change uh, is gonna make a big difference for you if you're drawing floor plans on the ground like that and then pulling in them into 3D space. So what I really wanted to show was those key ones that make SketchUp, uh, you know, more uniform where it does the same thing all the time. That's, that's important. And I also wanted to show things that are going to have a big impact on people just learning SketchUp, which is, of course, a big concern for me. It, it, consistency is so important. It should do the same thing. It should, the modifier key should behave the same, and now they do. There's a couple spots where there were just exceptions or maybe a modifier key wasn't listed at the bottom. So this release goes through and it makes that all very consistent, much easier. To use. Plus the sticky keys, I love it because uh, you know, I, I really work with SketchUp and try to be as efficient as I can when I go through and design things. And not having to hold down keys is, for me, for my, the way my brain works, just super helpful because I tap it once and I'm in that command. I've just, I've changed move into copy and that's the way I want to keep it until I want to go back to move again. So having those sticky keys is a big help. Um, like I said, there's a handful of other things that are in 2021.1. 20, uh, follow the link down in the description. You'll get to our blog and you'll see a list of everything that's changed and you can read about everything that's new in this new version. If you like the video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos every week 
including things like this when new things come out, and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you like that idea? Is this looking like a good thing? Is this going to help you with your workflow? Do you like this video in general? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.